The World Parkinson Congress um, brings together researchers, clinicians and people affected by the condition from all over the world. Up to 10 million people across the world are living with Parkinson's and we know that everybody has access to very different services and treatments and we want to change that. We want to make sure that wherever you live in the world you have access to the very best services, the very best treatments. The pledge gives us an opportunity internationally and globally to share experiences, to share resources, to make sure that we get the best possible researchers working. I, I see Parkinson's very much like an iceberg. The, the, the bit on the surface you can see and you can control and people are aware of that and through, those, through watching those symptoms they know that you have Parkinson's. It is that sort of amorphous mass underneath the surface that you're working on yourself to try to control. Parkinson's affects the most famous and the ordinary everyday person in the street. There is no, it knows no boundaries, it knows no age gaps. To start off with, I felt, well, I'm not old enough to have Parkinson's, it's a disease of old age. Well, every day is different. Um, as the symptoms have progressed, I'm finding it affects my life a lot more. In the beginning, it didn't really affect us that much. I could still do everything I wanted to do. But as they've progressed, I found that Things take a lot longer and a lot more effort needed and a lot more thought needed just to do simple tasks that we take for granted. Cutting a loaf of bread, you know, you, you would just do it. Um, but I've got to think about what I'm doing when my tablets aren't working properly. And even walking, you know, I've, if my tablets aren't clicking in properly, I've got to really concentrate to walk. Whereas normally you would just walk. We have a real challenge. We want a million people to sign this pledge over the next four years. So we need you, your friends, your family, your work colleagues to take action. I will definitely be signing the pledge, yes. And I, I'm going to make as many people as I can aware of it as well. We need to raise the awareness of the condition globally. We want to build a global Parkinson's movement. Make it a priority health, social and economic issue around the world and work together to find a cure for Parkinson's. And I'm calling on all of you, from all walks of life, from all over the world, to sign up to this pledge and to look forward to a future without Parkinson's. Mm -hmm.